Okay, Richard, here's the shape here that uh, we want to create a three, 3D three part on, and we want this interior part to be kind of a rounded piece, and this is going to be a flat one-inch thick part. So uh, what I did is I took the profile kind of, of what we had here, and I extended it to be roughly one-inch tall, uh, and then to be a little bit wider than the widest part here, so I knew we would get full coverage as we swept around here. Um, now, if we wanted to create something that is a little bit different, you know, I can come here and draw a new line, snap to end point, and create a little cross section here, and then maybe come back and modify this cross section, and uh, I'm going to even have to convert this to a curve here, create something that's a little bit more curvy to go from one end to the other. And you know whatever we want it to be, we can just create that that effect by by coming here and and choosing and and editing this cross section a little bit. So here I'm kind of you know if I want to make it a little bit more of a curve, I can do that. If I want to bring it up, I can do that. And just you know whatever we want it to be. Let's create a little something that looks good here. Okay, so here's a more gradual slope of of a curve. All right, so this time when I create it, I'm going to use this this cross section instead of this other one, and it'll give a similar result. And then once you know these steps, you can you can play with whatever you want the cross section to look like. So uh, what I'm going to do is just make a copy of some stuff here. And really, what I want to be concerned with are these two inner parts. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a copy of these. Control C. And I'm going to paste these to the active layer. All right. Now I'm going to take these parts and I'm going to explode this. So actually, I'll take these two as well. Cut them. Control X and Control B. Paste to active layer just to keep them where they are for their original part there. Now these become my section. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to transform explode I want this back wall here to be my my part I'm going to use so I'm just going to explode that and then I'm going to extend this a little bit so that when I'm extruding I'm extending a little bit past the part all right so there's my one part and we're going to do it across this back shape here so we're going to come here and go to transform Explode. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that one. And we'll go back to extrude here and just continue these pieces a little bit. Okay. So these become the lines that we're going to extrude on. If I turn everything on. Now I, I want to start off here as my bigger part and go here. So I'm going to take this. I could see because of my uh, my arrow here that I'm going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to select each of these and go to transform, reverse open contour. That way when I'm extruding I get a better idea where I'm extruding at on the part here. Uh, and then this is what I'm going to extrude. So basically I'm going to take this corner, put it here. This portion will go out here and I'm going to sweep this along there. So I'll take these two pieces and I'll do a flat, no thickness relief. I'll do 100 and apply. So these are just flat reliefs. Now I'm going to do an extrusion. So I'm going to select my part here, go to surface, create surface, extrude. It tells me select the contour I want to extrude, and that is my cross section here. Hit the arrow, select the path I want to follow, which is my part right here. I'm going to do the bottom, not the middle. I'm going to do the bottom left so that this part will, will go outward and everything else looks okay there. I'm just going to add it on to what's already there. So now I should see that My part has been swept around the edge there. 
again, because this end part here is shorter, because this end part is shorter, you're only going to see the height that you would see if you were right here, which means it's going to be taller. So basically, by by shortening where my my relief is, you know, that's why this piece up here appears to be taller than the bottom down here. It is taller. It's sweeping down, though, at a constant uh, rate. All right. And uh, now we can do the same thing with this one. We're going to come here to Surface, Extrude, and I have to have my Relief selected first. Select the Contour to Extrude, which is right here. Select the Path to Follow, which is right there. And I already have Add checked, so this creates my other sweeping part. Now, I did a... Uh, I did an example of adding these together to kind of give me an idea what the end process would look like. I'd probably just cut these the way it looks here without even putting my relief in those other sections and just use the big perimeter to cut out. But I'm going to put uh, Control C to copy. And let's go here to a blank layer. And I'm going to delete my relief. And I'm going to weld these together. I'll weld these two, and I'll weld these two. And I'll notice there when I weld these that this gives me some internal components. So I'm just going to ungroup that and get rid of these internal parts. Ungroup and just get rid of that. Now I can take these, and I'm going to come here, and just so I can see what the end result is going to look like, I'm going to put a flat 1-inch tall relief in here and then I'm gonna turn on I'm gonna select this one that says select your base relief which is right here I'm gonna turn on my other layers and click the relief I'm gonna add uh, let's try this one more time select the base relief do the top one what relief am I gonna add to it I'm gonna select this internal component here And I'm going to say merge lowest. So since this new thing I created is lower than the other one, it should uh, result in me taking away that, that part because it's lower than what was already there. So let's try this one again. On this one, we're going to select combine reliefs right here, base relief or merge reliefs. Select the one I want to add, which is right here. And I'm going to do Merge Lowest again. Now I can turn off all the layers here. And I can see that I have uh, merged these two things in such a way that that the lower part is there. And it looks like it might have some... Uh, And, you know, my minor sanding to do where those edges come together or might might play around with that a little bit. But uh, I'm not sure what these what these points are here or where these two reliefs are coming together that didn't quite uh, add up smooth. You wouldn't have this problem when you're only cutting part of it. So, I'm, you know, I'll simulate, it's probably simulated here so that... Uh, so that you know we'll see exactly what it looks like but you know I think this might even look better here with this more sweeping profile uh, used instead of this other profile that we use and all I did is just modify you know that cross section to get this result so all right uh, sorry if there's any background noise here I'm having to work from home today because I'm snowed in but I just wanted to get you this information